Hello, <clears throat> hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel today. Uh, I have something exciting to share on my channel today. And it's really been exciting for me in the last few weeks as I've been working on a couple of personal projects and looking at the execution of things in terms of my affiliate marketing business. I've been able to crush some goals, which I'm really super excited about. Today, I have one a website I'm working on. This is the website, one of my websites that I'm working on. It's actually a website that I've got in the domain since last year, but I'm not pleased with the performance of the website organically after doing the SEO. So I decided to revamp the whole website and turn it to an e-commerce website. So today, I'm going to show you how you can integrate Flutterwave Payment Gateway to a website. So this is the website, especially if you are using WooCommerce. You know, if you have an e-commerce website, WooCommerce, WooCommerce is kind of is a type of store that you can use on your, on your site for work, especially if you are using a content management system called WordPress. So, for the sake of this video, the first thing you need to do, if you don't have a Flutterwave account, you just go to flutterwave.com, you click on sign up. When you click on sign up, follow the due process. They will ask you, do your KYC, know your customer. So submit your KYC and do the necessary things. When you are verified, you have something like this. I want to bet it with you. You have you come to a platform like this, which is called Home, which is your dashboard. If if you are able to do your KYC successfully on Flutterwave, you have a dashboard like this. Can you see dashboard? This will take you your all your transaction. You see all the transaction you've done. If you have refunds, you see you see it here. This is a new account, so I don't have anything on it. I created this. Your balance. You see your balance. If you have a pending balance that Flutterwave hasn't sent to you, you'll see it here, your balance history. And anything, anything you are looking for, this is your dashboard. If you are able to, to create Flutterwave account and do your KYC successfully, this is the dashboard you are going to have access to. And this is what we are using. So first, first thing first. So to make this video short a bit, that's why I have... I've created the account already. So all I'm going to just show you is how you can integrate your account that you've created, how you can integrate it to a website built to an e-commerce website. Maybe you have a fashion store, maybe you have a skincare website and you have product listed on it. You are in Nigeria and you want to collect payment. The most exciting thing is that Flutterwave can collect payment for on a website in over 30 countries. So I can't continue to list all those countries on this video. It's going to take a while. So the first thing we need to do is that we go to plugin. Let's go to plugin. We go to plugin and you click on add new. When you click on add new, when you click on add new, you what you do is click on just like flutter with the flutter with it will bring the plugin out for you. Can you see? So so let's just download this not how we will come as so you click on this and you activate it you activate it is that simple is that simple and easy very very simple and easy it is that simple and easy so the next thing you need to do, you go to all your installed plugin. You go to all your installed plugin and make sure that the plugin is there. So this is it. 
This is it. You make sure that it is there. So can you see that Flutterway WooCommerce is installed successfully? You make sure it is installed successfully. The so once you've done that. Once you've done that and you may, you've been able to make sure that you you have it all figured out, I want to check out something again. I want to show you the process again, so so that you know what I installed for the sake. So can you see this is what I installed? Can you see? So the next thing you need to do after you've been able to install it, you come to WooCommerce here, yeah? come to WooCommerce and click on setting. When you click on setting, you see, for you to click on setting, make sure that you set up, it's just the basic setup, you need to set up like the country so that WooCommerce will be able to identify that you are, you are a business running in Nigeria, if it's Nigeria's location, that's what you need to do. So what I need to do next is to go to payments, go to payments, go to payments, then you scroll down. So under payments, you have the plugin that we've installed, you have it there. So can you see, this is the plugin, it's called Rave. So allow you to accept payments from cards, bank account in multiple US, in multiple currency, and you can also accept payment offline via USDT and POS. So all I need to do is to just turn it on. I'll turn it on. I'll click on save settings. I think so. So once I turn it on, then I'll I'll go to finish setup. So these are other payment methods that you can use. You can use Stripe, but I don't think Stripe. I, I have a video on Stripe payments. When you use Stripe payment gateway to collect payment on your website. I have that video on my website or my YouTube channel rather. You can check that out too. So all you need to do next is to just click on manage. You click on manage. So it will take you to it will take you to this place. So once it takes you to this place. So for me, since I know what I want to do, since I know what I want to do, most of the time, most people like to go through the route of most people like to go through the right route of doing the test mode first before doing the live mode. But since I know what I want to do, and that is the essence of this video, I'm just going to click on live mode. So you click on live mode. When you click on live mode, you this this is it. They said copy this web URL web hook URL paste on the webhook section on your dashboard. We are still going to go there. So all I need to do, can you see? Can you see? It's saying Rift Text Public Key, Rift Text Secret Key, Rift Text Live, Live Public Key, Rift Text Secret Key. So these are the two things I need. I need this, I need this, and I need this. So I need to generate this key and put it for for this thing to work. So 
I well, what I'm going to do next is to copy this hook, this hook URL. I'm going to copy it and go to my and go to my go to my Flutter Wave dashboard. You come back to your Flutter Wave dashboard. You come here to your profile. This your Flutter Wave dashboard is in a test mode. So you change it. I don't do test mode because I already know what I'm doing. So you come here, you change it to live mode. You change it to live mode. Then we, we go to the next step and do the next set of things. So I've changed it to live mode. Can you see, I will show you now. I will show you now. So can you see that we are in the live mode now? So all you need to do now is to go to, go to settings, go to settings, go to web hooks. Go to web hooks first. So can you see we are live? So this URL here, this URL here, this URL here, copy it and paste it here. Copy it and paste it here. Then click on. Then click on save. Copy it, save. So that's the first thing you need to do. So the next thing you need to do is to come to API keys. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see that? Can you see that test key? Can you see that test key is different from live keys? But what I'm particular about is the live keys. And that is what we really want to use in this place. That is what we are after here for, 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 for what we are doing to work very well. Because I, I don't really see the essence of me testing the thing I know how to do already. So I know how to do what I want to do. And I know the route to go about it. So I don't need to first do tests. You don't need to test. And that is the essence of me to creating this video. To walk you through the best and shortest route to get things done. So what you need to do next is to just copy the public key. Copy the public key. Come here and put it here paste it here come here again the secret key the secret key come here put it here and that's it so once you do that once you do that you don't have any other thing to do again all you need to click is to just click on inscription key I don't think we need that. We don't need inscription key. There's no option here that is telling you that is telling you inscription key. There's no option here telling you inscription key. So all you need to do is to just click on save. And that's it. <coughs> Sorry. All you need to do is to just click on save. Can you see that we're able to set up Flutter with payment gateway on your on your website? So let me open my website. Let me open my website. Let me open to a product. Like I want to check out a product. So let me just go to, let me click on this product. Let's say I want to get this product that is 22,000 cards. Let me add the product to cards. Let me click on view card, move down. Proceed to check out. Let me click on proceed to check out. Proceed to check out. So, for the sake of this video, I'm not for the sake of this video, I'm not placing any order on my website, but I just want to show you that. Can you see? This is what we did. I have this on my website already, like making payments with direct transfer. That's the least payment method that was on my website before. So can you see that wave trusted by Flutter Wave is already there? So all you need to do is if you are using that to check out, because most people are skeptical of making a bank transfer to a website they, they've seen online. But if they are using their card to shop, it is easy for them. So this is what we just, this is what I just walked you through. So you just click on this option. Can you see powered by Flutter Wave, accept MasterCard, Visa card, Dev, and all. You click on place order. Then the Flutter Wave, this thing will come up. So for the sake of this video, let me just fill in all this information. So you know all this is working. Let me just click on this. Then now click on. No shipping method selected. They said no shipping method selected. Shipping method, shipping method, shipping method. Ship to the same address. 
shift to no, I don't want to shift to different address. So I'm supposed to set up a shipping method. I think I've done that, but this is just what you need to do. Check out. I want to really show you that what we did, I want to really show you what we did worked. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to, I'm trying to locate WooCommerce so we can set up the, where's WooCommerce? Let's set up shipping. Let's go to setting and set up shipping. I think I have not I haven't set up shipping on my WooCommerce account. So I just want to show you some set up shipping, which which wow, that's why I'm having that issue. So let me just name it something like Nigeria. Let me just name it the shipping zone. Let me name it Nigeria. The select region, let me name it Nigeria. Let me name it Nigeria. Then add shipping method. I will leave it as flat rates of 2,000 Naira. I will leave it as flat rate of 2,000 Naira. Let's say 2,000 Naira for the sake of this video. Then save changes. Then save changes. Then So with this, I've been able to set up shipping mode on the website. So it won't ask me that when I add a product to cart, I'll be and I'm very, very sure you've learned something. I'm very, very sure you've learned something in this video. If you are yet to so just click this so let's, so let's click on, let me go through the process again. You add the product view cards. Once you click on view cards, then you click on proceed to check out. Proceed to check out. Proceed. To. So uh, I think it's because it's Nigeria. I think it's because I chose I chose a different country. So can you see now? Can you see the the shipping method is not giving me LAKJ. So I think it's because I chose UK because I'm currently in the UK. So that's the reason why it's giving me that headache. So for the sake of this video, all you need to do is to just click on. Can you see that what we worked on? I was trying to show you earlier the plugin that we installed, integrating it with our Oh, with our Flutter with API, API, live API keys. Can you see that it is working? Then you place another. So if you are using the real, anybody that is coming to this website and is using the real Flutter with payment option to make payment, you just click on place order. You will see the, you will see the pop-up now, the checkout pop-up. So let's, you click on make payment. So this is, this is all you need to see. You will see the flutter with payment method popping up now. Can you see? This is the flutter with payment method. Can you see the can you see the their logo here? Can you see this is one of their product butter? You can use USDT, you can use bank transfer, you can use bank, you can use black bank transfer. Can you see secured by flutter with? So I believe you've been able to gain something in this video. And I've shared something exciting with you today. If you are here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will encourage you to do that. I will encourage you to do that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.